Seriously, I'm not saying boycotting is compulsory. It's not even compulsory. It's not even compulsory, huh? Like I, if a, a guy walks in here with Maccas, I'm gonna, I can't belt him. And I can't tell him off, but it's not haram, yeah? He comes in with a happy meal. How, how, how can you put that in your mouth? How, 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 how? That's a bullet you just bought. That goes straight to your brother and your sister. That, that, how? You can't, you can't live without a happy meal? Like, are you serious? Like, are you normal? One of the brothers said to me, Brother, I can't live without Pepsi and Coke. Brother, are you serious? Are you serious? Are we reached that level? I'm not saying it's haram. Wallah, I'm not saying it's haram. And we can't say it's haram. Tayyip, you can't say that if you were to drink this Pepsi, it's gonna, it, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to go to that level. But brother, I can't live without it, bro. I can't live without it. If it's on the table, I can't eat, I can't drink. Like, are you normal? Like, imagine you were there. Imagine those young boys who, subhanAllah, don't have water and drink, and he's crying. Those young boys, young girls are crying, crying. Because their mom, their dad, their uncle, their auntie, their cousin, everyone is dying. Because of what you bought. Like, if, like, how do you have, how can you even, how can you even say that? How can you even say that? I'm not, I'm not saying it's something haram. I'm not saying it's something haram. But we've reached a level where boycotting, yani. And not every company, there's some people of over exaggerated. Every company in the world is under Israel. But there are companies out there, Alan and openly, openly, like Starbucks, McDonald's, KFC, and other, Pepsi and Coke. They're openly, they've been supporting them for years. For years, for years. And you can't, no, no, I can't, bro. I can't have Pepsi. No, no. Come on, bro. 